Hello, I'm Georgiana Constantine Park. I'm a researcher, a political science instructor, and a subject matter expert, and a journalist. Let's talk about pandemics. That's a fun subject, isn't it? Well, unfortunately, uh, the world this year has been witness to what ha has been talking about for a very long time, which is the next pandemic. The sad part about it is that the conversation has been ongoing for years. We all know the movies, we all have seen the documentaries, and probably read the articles <clears throat> about how and when the next pandemic is going to uh, take place and how we're not ready for it. I don't think that in the 21st century uh, we have any more excuses uh, to bring up and say we're not ready for the next pandemic. People will blame a lot of things and, uh, you know, they'll blame other people, groups, uh, they'll blame globalization, they'll blame anything. And blaming is natural, it makes sense because people want a semblance of control when it doesn't seem like there is any control. So, I guess first of all, we have to look at all of this in the context of history. Pandemics have been a part of our history since the beginning. And globalization has been a part of our history since the beginning. From empires to things like the Silk Road, we have always traded. Unfortunately, there have always been wars as well. We've always been in contact with each other to some degree or another. Now, it's important for us to look at pandemics as probably a permanent part of our future. Um, unless we come up with some technology, a brand new one, or something connected to the uh, gene editing technology that we have now, that might in fact uh, stop pandemics before they even start, which would be wonderful. And obviously that's not excluded, but for now, and maybe even after that, just to be safe, we should probably have multiple task forces that coordinate and discuss and talk to each other all throughout the world that do nothing but deal with all manner of scenarios that can come up in terms of pandemics and threats uh, such as a pandemic uh, and try to come up with solutions. This is very possible and it isn't uh, difficult. Uh, we can gather people from the medical field, from the economics field, from the humanities, all of these people together as an interdisciplinary approach to put together plans for society to be able to switch from its functioning on plan A to functioning on plan B, maybe alternative means of functioning. Like we're seeing now a lot of um, theater and opera and concerts and movies and books and schools, everything has moved into cyberspace. We have this amazing capacity to do that and to do other wonderful things because of the sensory that we're in and the knowledge and technology that we have. So there really isn't any excuse to say we were caught off guard. And there isn't any excuse to um, react to a pandemic or to such a threat such as this instead of just already having a plan that looks at all of these elements together and makes sure that not only are we safe from a health perspective, but that our economy is safe so we don't add one tragedy on top of the other. I would love to see such an effort take place uh, globally, and I think that each country should have its own um, such task force because this is going to be very personalized for each country, but I also think that each country should have its task forces coordinate and communicate with the rest of the global task forces so as to really be able to, to reach the highest number of people and to be able to really deal with, with issues such as airplane travel and, and uh, um, you know shipping and commerce and, and other things such as that. So 
the plan needs to be individualized to each country and it also needs to be globally coordinated among such organizations and a part of these should be businesses and and you know public and private entities they we need collaboration now more than ever especially uh, since we have all of the tools at our disposal to make such a thing happen um, there is no excuse at this point I would love to see such an effort on the national and international level take place. And I'd, I'd love to be a part of that. I mean, um, we really need to work together and make use of these wonderful tools that the 21st century has given to us.